In today's video, I'm going to show you my top, the most useful functions for Google Data Studio. So let's get started. The first function that I want to show you is date difference. If you want to calculate the difference between two dates, uh, you should use this formula. I have uh, two dimensions. The first one is order date and the second one is refund date. And let's calculate the difference between these two dates. In order to do it, I click um, add dimension and then click here create field. The first argument should be the end date. For me, it will be refund date, then comma, uh, order date. So here you can see the difference between these two days. The next function is uh, called concat and it helps you to concatenate uh, two or more fields together. In my case, I will show you how to create the full name based on the first name and the last name. In order to do it, I click add dimension, then click create field and uh, input uh, my formula. Uh, the first argument will be first name, then uh, space and uh, comma last name. And I will call this field uh, full name. Click apply and here you can see the full name. And then syntaxes you can check here. Uh, sometimes it's uh, useful to have a timestamp with the current date. Yeah, it's quite easy formula, it's called today and I will show you how to uh, create it real quick. So uh, here I click uh, create a field and um, and search for the today function. And here is, you can see the current date. And um, right now with this table I can uh, hide row numbers, uh, pag pagination, also I can hide a header and uh, adjust the table, you know, and to add this timestamp, for instance, here, you know, to understand um, the report update date or or today's date and combine with text and so on and so forth. The next function that I want to show you is uh, called cast. Cast uh, function helps you to change uh, the the field type. So based on this example, I have a transaction ID and it is metric. I want to make a transaction ID as a dimension. So uh, here I will do it right now with the help of the cast formula. The formula syntax is quite simple. I just write cast, then transaction ID, my field. And here I can uh, use the type of conversion and can be number text uh, or date time. In my case, it will be a text. And here you can see that uh, right now it's uh, dimension because you this uh, little letters and not the numbers. The next function that I want to show you is called generic max and generic mean. This function really helpful uh, if you want to minimize the number of errors in Data Studio, especially when you are working with blended uh, data source. I have a table with order date and uh, order amount. Also, I have uh, another table with dates and uh, the cost value. I want to calculate uh, marketing efficiency ratio based on these two tables is basically just uh, total amount of cost divided by total amount of orders value. I've blended these um, data sources. Here I want to click create a field and uh, I'm dividing, I'm, I'm dividing cost uh, by order amount. Okay, so right now it's showing the correct data, but let's assume that I changed uh, the date range. And here I can uh, uh, set uh, yesterday and click apply. The marketing efficiency ratio showing no data because I do have order amount value on January 18th, but the cost data is empty. 
So uh, with the help of uh, Nary mean or Nary max formula, I can do this little hack and uh, add here zero and close the brackets. And um, what it means, basically, if we have empty data for the cost, uh, it will choose the maximum value of these two numbers. It um, helps you to prevent uh, unnecessary errors. Um, actually, it is quite useful to when we're blending our data to use this uh, formula for all the parameters. So I will add Nary max to order amount as well. If the revenue data won't be available uh, in the future for a particular date. Right now I click apply and uh, it will show you correct data of uh, marketing efficiency ratio. Uh, the next function is it's called case and uh, it helps transform our data. And so let's assume I have a first name and last name of the customer and also their email address. And with the help of uh, case formula, I want to classify client type uh, by B2C and B2B. And I will classify it by the, their email provider. If it's gmail.com, it will be B2C customer. And if it's not gmail.com, for instance, xyz.com, it's a B2B customer. So let's do it right now. Mm. I click here, create a field and I will name it client type uh, and formula will be case and then when and here I add in another formula inside uh, case formula. It is a regular expression. Regex contains if, if email contains gmail.com, then uh, I apply B2C label to it. Else it will be B2B and, and if it's uh, email contains gmail.com, it will be B2C, else it will be B2B. So I do have the same data set. And um, this my classification by client type, with B2B and uh, B2C, and uh, this and also I added order amount. And right now I want to use if function to calculate the sale commission. And this and the sale commission will be 20% of the order amount, but only for B2B client. I click create a field and then I input if formula. The first argument will be a client type. If it's x for equals to B2B, then order amount I'm multiply by 0 0.2, else it will be zero. And uh, I will call this uh, field uh, sale commission. And you can see it's only calculated commissions for B2B client type. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio. And uh, if you need help with Data Studio, check the links in the description below.